Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the chapter 4. It is a very quick review of what we have studied in chapter 4. So it was mainly about the use of terror series and estimating the truncation errors. What is truncation error? For example, if you stop one term at some point and the remaining uh, remaining terms you did not add into one expression, so you truncate one expression. For example, like if I show you the truncation errors example, this is one series which is known as Taylor's series. So this series gives you the value of fx for the next interval of uh, maybe time or any any object. So it could be a data, it could be a time or anything. So it gives you the value of fx for the next interval. So you can expand it and this is the uh, series in front of you. You need the first derivative, second derivative, third and so on. So for example if you just use the first three terms and you truncate all the rest of the terms then that is known as Rn the remainder or the truncation part. So this remainder is also equal to the uh, error, the amount of error and as you keep on adding the terms this remainder will keep on reducing and in other words the error will keep on reducing this equation is the Taylor series and this is the equation for remainder remainder is uh, the number of terms the remaining number of terms at the point where you are going to terminate your expression or you are going to finish your expression the remaining number of terms are actually known as the remainder and you can express this remainder like this this is again x this is some value of x between x i plus one so this is again x this symbol and uh, you can express this remainder like this and in most of the questions this remainder is actually the unknown which we have to find and that we can uh, we can express as the amount of error present in an expression okay so Taylor series can be used in order to find out the truncation errors for example if we have the true values then we can we can estimate that if we use three terms or four terms or five terms then how much would be the amount of error you can also simplify for example if we uh, we say that the difference between the two terms is actually the interval and which actually is it is interval so it is equal to edge and you can just put instead of x i plus 1 minus x i this equal to edge so it will become edge edge square edge cube and so on so if you just put these values you will get this expression and this expression is the same uh, form of the Taylor series what I have ex explained you before so in the next graph in this slide uh, this shows that if you have just one term or the first or n is zero so in, in that case there is just one term in this case n is one in this case n is two n is three and so on so but in this case we have n is equal to zero so the number of terms are just one so if we just consider number of terms one or n is equal to zero so these two expressions are equal and you can see that at x i the value of f x i is equal to x i plus one because you are considering just one term so that is why it is just like a straight line so if you add one more term if you consider the two terms or n is equal to one the first or a solution so in that case this will be your expression and uh, your values will become more closer to the true value this black line shows you the true solution this could be any solution any line any function it is just a representative line it does not show anything any real uh, physical model but just one demonstration that how our solution becomes close to the accurate solution if we keep on adding number of terms and in the second order the solution becomes more close to the true value and if you keep on adding the number of terms the solution will become more more and more accurate okay so this is all about the uh, zero order and the first order and the nth order approximation for example this equation shows you the nth order approximation and then we have discussed one example we have solved one example and that example was I gave you choice 4.1 and 4.2 so in this example what we had we had uh, we had 
Taylor series and then we have to determine the uh, we, we have to determine the values of fxi plus 1 I mean uh, what, what will be the value of fxi plus 1 when we use from 0 terms, 1 term, 2 terms, 3 terms and up to 6 terms so actually we have to find out cos of x i plus 1 that was the uh, unknown thing so how we can and uh, however the x i is equal to pi by 4 and x i plus 1 is pi by 3 so what we need we have this fx cos x but we we required to find out fx i plus 1 it means cos x i plus 1 so it means uh, we have to use the Taylor series in order to find out the fx i plus 1 for cos x i plus 1 for uh, this Taylor series, we we can use the number of terms ranging from zero to six, and we have the accurate solution as well. For example, how we can find out the accurate or the true solution? Just put here x i plus one and find out the value of course x i plus one. Uh, but we actually want to use the Taylor series for this solution. So what we did, we actually found. First, we find the derivatives. For example, for the zero order, for the first order, second order, third order. So these are the derivatives because uh, if we see the uh, Taylor series, so we need derivatives. For example, this is the first derivative, second derivative, third derivative, and so on. So we have to go up to the six number of terms or the six derivatives. So if you want me to solve, for example, for the one case.